Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. My name is Basir bin Nurdin. I'm lecturer in Faculty of Civil Engineering, University Technology Mara, Sha'ala. Today, I'm going to explain how to design panel based on your code. Before we start design, we must know design principles. The spacing of pile should generally be three times the pile cap diameter. The pile should be grouped symmetrically under the loads. The loads carried by each pile is equal to total axial load divided by number of piles. The pile should extend at least 150 mm beyond the theoretical circumference of the pile. In sizing of the pile cap, it is based on pile type, whether the pile is a friction pile or the pile is a end bearing pile. For friction piles, the minimum spacing of pile from center to center is 1000 mm. For end bearing piles, the spacing of the piles from center to center is 750 mm. In terms of arrangement of the pile, in pile cap, we can have two number of pile. We can have three number of piles, uh, five number of pile, or six number of pile. To calculate number of piles for pile cap, we have to use axial load in service limit state divided by capacity of one pile. The capacity of one pile we can calculate from soil investigation report. Sometimes the capacity of pile we also call as a working load per pile. So this uh, plan view of uh, pile cap. So this uh, elevation of a pile cap. So in plan view of pile cap, uh, we have to draw location of the column with the size of the column. And then we have to draw location of pile, location of pile, of pile. Then we have to determine the spacing of pile from center to center and then we have to determine extension of pile cap that is 150 mm from edge of pile to the edge of pile cap for elevation pile cap so we have to identify the thickness of pile cap so that is 2 times of diameter plus 100 and the pile should insert into pile cap about 75 mm. So in terms of analysis, there are two methods that can be used to analyze the pile cap. The first method is thrust theory, second method is beam theory. For beam theory, if the pile caps having more than five number of pile per pile cap, we, we have to use beam method. The bending moment should be calculated at the face of the column. If we are using thrust theory, if we have two number of pile per pile cap, so to calculate area of steel per pile cap, we can use uh, based on two number of pile cap. If we have three number of pile cap, we can use uh, based on three number of pile per pile cap. If we have four, we can use uh, based on four pile per pile cap. 
and so on. Whereby D is an effective depth of pile cap. This L, L is a pile spacing center to center. And then N value is a factored column load. That means it's an ultimate limit state for the column load. So for trust theory, this method only applicable for pile number less than pi number. And then in uh, pile cap de design, we have to calculate the shear capacity of a pile. The shear capacity of a pile should be checked at the critical section. Hence, in determining the shear resistance, shear enhancement may be considered such that the shear force VED may be decreased by shear enhancement divided by 2D. So this uh, formula to be used to calculate shear capacity of the pile. If the spacing of the pile exceed 3 times the pile diameter, then the pile cap should be checked for punching shear. The shear force at the column face should be checked to ensure that it is less than the maximum shear resistance. So this uh, diagram to show the critical shear along the pipe, along the this section. Example: This we have a uh, four number of pile per pile cap. So the Critical shear is uh, here uh, from diameter divided by phi to the column face of the pile cap. So that means AV is a uh, distance from column face to the critical shear section. Let's we start with the pile cap design. The first step we have to calculate ultimate exit load. So this this load is uh, from roof to the ground level. I'm using column size 500 by 500. Concrete strength 30 newton per mm square. Steel strength 500 newton per mm square. Pile diameter 300 mm span pile with working load per pile is 300 kilonewton or 30 ton so to calculate number of pile per pile cap we have to use ultimate axial load divided by 1.425 because we have to convert the ultimate exit load to service limit state so that is I have to divide it in with 1.425 and then divide it again with a uh, working load per pile. So the number of pile per pile cap is 3.4 and then to the nearest a uh, number of pile I use four number of, of pile per pile cap. Next, we have to calculate dimension of pile cap. The depth of pile cap is equal to 2 multiplied by diameter of pile plus 100. So that is 700. Pile spacing is a 3 diameter pile. 3 multiplied by 300 is 900. Then calculate effective depth is equal to 700. This is a depth of pile cap, 700, 700. Minus 100, that is a cover, minus 25, minus uh, 10 diameter bar divided by 2, is equal to 570 mm. And then we have to draw plan view of pile cap and elevation of pile cap with uh, column location and column size, number of pile, location of pile, uh, pile spacing 900 center to center, 
and then the distance from the center of pile to the edge of pile cap that is a 300 and then we have to indicate thickness of pile cap that is a 1000 is from 2 diameter pile plus 100 and then again the pile have to insert into pile cap about 75 mm And then we calculate main tension reinforcement using a formula area of steel is equal to T divided by 0 0.87 FYK whereby T is equal to NL divided by 8D. Uh, N is the ultimate axial load. Uh, L is a Pile spacing center to center. Then uh, D is a 570, FYK is a 500. Because we because number of pile per pile cap is four number of pile per pile cap, so divided it is a four four number of pile per pile cap. So total area of reinforcement required in each direction is uh, 2 multiplied by area of main tension reinforcement for one row. So that is 1316 mm square. So I am using 16 mm diameter. So therefore for this pan cap, Provide it number of 16 mm by diameter with a area of steel reinforcement 1,608 mm, or we can put in terms of spacing at 175 centers, and then we have to change shear shear force along critical section so that is a VED that is a ultimate exit load divided by 2 because we have 2 row pile in 1 row so and then shear force along critical section multiplied by the enhancement so this is a AV this is a distance from the a quarter of pile to the column piece. Okay. So that is a VED is equal to 70 kN. And then we have to calculate shear resistance of the concrete VRDC. So this is a VRDC. We have to calculate shear resistance minimum using 0 0.03 pi k FCK. So from here, we have to compare shear resistance with the maximum shear VED. So the shear resistance of the concrete is more than VED, therefore the thickness of pile cap is sufficient. Check for punching shear at the as the pile is at three times the pile diameter, no punching shear check is necessary. So the shear at column phase should be checked. That is a minimum shear resist, maximum shear resistance. We are the maximum. So we have to compare with ultimate exit load. So it seems that maximum shear resistance is more than ultimate exit load therefore punching shear is sufficient and the proposed thickness of pile cap is sufficient uh, B method is for pile cap more than pi 5 pile group the bending moment calculated at the face of column so taking moment at face of column because 
we have a uh, four number of pine for pine cam. So moment at x x direction is a uh, two, one row is a uh, two, multiply by ultimate exit load divided by four, y four because we have four number of pine for for pine cam. Multiply by this is uh, a distance from center of pile to the column face. So the moment at column face is 290 kN. Then calculate K to check whether the pile cap need to provide top steel bar or not. It's a based on moment divided by BD square FCK. Calculate Z and then calculate area of steel. So from area of steel, you can provide 7 is 16. That is uh, 1407 mm square, spacing at 200 centers. So after design, we have to draw detailing, a plan view of a panel cap and elevation of panel cap. The plan view of a panel cap, we have to show number of panel. We have to show a column location and column size. We have to show dimension of pile cap and then for elevation cross section of pile cap we have to show the thickness of pile cap the number of pile to be used for pile cap uh, main reinforcement and also secondary reinforcement and then the height of uh, a stem from uh, ground floor to the top of pile cap that's all. Thank you very much.